hello everyone so in the previous video we saw that when we ran our convolution neural network on cpu it was taking around 900 to 1000 seconds to run one epoch when we are using mnist data set so that is a bit worrying because if we want to train a uh, image of larger size then it will take a lot of time so in this video we will try to configure our system's gpu to run our Theano, Keras and other deep learning libraries. So as it says, configuring your own computer system GPU for Theano and Theano based libraries. Either there should be graphic card installed in the system or you have external card that you bought and you are trying to attach it to your system. Okay. So the requirement should be you should have a NVIDIA GPU. NVIDIA provides your CUDA architecture and you can check uh, if you're having NVIDIA GPU. You can check it here. You go to your start menu, try your device manager. Okay, device manager. You click here. You go to the display adapters, and yes, it is NVIDIA Quadro K4200. So, this is the name of my GPU. You can see the properties. So this is the properties, display adapter, uh, drivers, DKC sources, okay. And if you want to see more detail of this, uh, how many cores and etc. it's having, you just right click here and you will have a NVIDIA control panel. Just click here and it will open an NVIDIA control panel for you. So the three settings, display, video, workstation, etc. This one, uh, if you wish, you can change it. Now you see, use my preference for quality the image quality if I reduce this you see the graphics is a bit worse if I reduce it more or less it gets more worse okay let me keep it in balance okay uh, I don't think it has much role but uh, let me keep it in balance for performance as well as quality because we are going to access the GPU for training so and you can use the system information or you can just click on the system information and you will get all the information about this GPU Quadro K4200 it says it has CUDA codes of 1344 that's huge that's good graphic clocks of 771 megahertz and let's see yeah total available graphics of around 789 MB it's around 7.78 GB I guess of which 4 GB is used for video and remaining we can use for the training on running our CNN architecture. These are components, NV CUDA and all that. Okay. I don't have much <laughs> knowledge of all this, but we'll just configure this so that we can run our convolution neural network on this. And so you see the information here on the system information. Okay, so I'll close it. Now I'll close this also. Okay, you want to apply changes? Yes, let me apply and see. Okay. Okay, now uh, I read one blog. Yeah, and it's very good blog. So you just type in your Google, up and running with Theano GPU, Avinav Tisar. So he has written a very good blog. You just click here. Okay. So up and running with Theano GPU plus Pi CUDA. So now we are more concern about GPU and less about Pi CUDA. So let's get started with this. So, so you can see in this blog, uh, he has mentioned we have to install Visual Studio in order to get NVIDIA's CUDA compiler NVCC. We have to install CUDA toolkit and we have to set up Python, which we already, we have done this. If you remember this commands, we have installed Conda through Conda package manager, we have installed all this and then we have to install Theano, we have to configure in a txt file that we'll see later, then install PyCuda. So now these two steps are important for us, installing Visual Studio and installing CUDA toolkit and configuring them. So first what you do, you just go here, you just type this, getting started Windows CUDA toolkit documentation. Click on the first link and you will get this. NVIDIA CUDA getting started guide for Microsoft Windows. So you read this and it tells about CUDA is a parallel computing platform and programming model invented by NVIDIA. And these are the system requirements. 
has mentioned a supported version of Microsoft Windows, a CUDA capable GPU, a supported version of Microsoft Visual Studio, the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. Okay, this four mini discs. They have mentioned about the OS and 8.17 server 2012-2008 and they have mentioned about the NVCC compiler to sub which supports CUDA 7.0 and above. So C++ 12, C++ 11 and 10. For 12 it is Visual Studio Community 2013 and Visual Studio 2013. Okay. So let me download this Visual Studio Community 2013. You can download any of this and this is fine. So yeah, you type Visual Studio, you go to Visual Studio download and here it is. So Visual Studio 2013 and this you can download community as they have mentioned here you see. Yeah. Visual Studio Community 2013 which will be supporting C++ 12.0. So let me download this first. Community 2013. Let me download it. And okay, here, here it is. Either I can do it a web installer or ISO. Uh, it's your wish. Whatever you do. I'm downloading ISO. Actually, I have already downloaded it. Yes. Downloaded it in a kept. Let me close this. Okay, cancel it. I have downloaded it here. Okay, Visual Studio Community. And I just double click here. Visual Studio Community 2013 with update 5. Let me double click and install it. And once it get installed, I'll get back to you because it may take quite a time. So you just I agree if you want to join, otherwise ignore it and it will be installed in this location. So next, just let the default option be as it is, install and it will ask for permission and yes. So installing and I'll, I'll get back to you when it get installed. So uh, meanwhile, uh, I'm installing Visual Studio Community 2013 and it's taking a lot of time. Meanwhile, let's read this and see. Next step was installing CUDA Toolkit. Okay. So let us install this CUDA Toolkit. So for getting CUDA Toolkit, just type CUDA Toolkit. The first link, it's provided by NVIDIA developer. Just click here and it should open yes so the latest version here is CUDA toolkit 7.5 and we'll download the latest version okay so let's download this and okay yeah it's asking for the operating system for which you want to download the CUDA uh, I'm using Windows 64 I'll use this and then it will ask for architecture x8664 it has detected by itself maybe and my window is 7 in this case so I'll download 7 uh, exp network exp local let's download the local okay so CUDA 7.5.18 windows exp download size this much okay let's what is network let's see that hmm. Okay, maybe it will install it online. So let me go by local so that I can use it somewhere else also. So let's download this. So CUDA 7.5 windows.exp and I'll let it download and I'll let it install. So now you see uh, we have downloaded Visual Studio Community 2013 and something of this dialog box should appear on your screen and once we are done with it we also see that uh, we are downloading our CUDA 7.5.18 and we have successfully downloaded that too so now we're gonna launch the Visual Studio okay and let's read the blog of 
of Mr. Yeah, Avinav Tushar. So we have installed Visual Studio. We have downloaded CUDA Toolkit, and now okay, so it's launching. You can see that. Okay, so we need to sign in if you wish, or you can sign in later if you wish to keep your information sync with your account you can sign in I am not interested in that so I will do it maybe later development settings you can choose blue dark light anything you wish uh, you can set up this also but actually this is not let me okay let me not get into visual studio let me just do what the blog says and it says once we have downloaded our Visual Studio, we need this NVCC compiler. Actually, we are not going to use Visual Studio for any of our program. We just need this stuff, okay? CL.exe.